Johannes Kepler, born on December 27, 1571, in Wilderstadt, Germany, was one of the most influential astronomers and mathematicians in history. His groundbreaking contributions to science revolutionized our understanding of the universe, paving the way for modern physics and astronomy. Kepler is best known for formulating the three laws of planetary motion, which describe the orbits of planets around the Sun. These laws laid the foundation for Isaac Newton's theory of universal gravitation, shaping the course of scientific thought for centuries. Kepler's early life was marked by hardship and a keen interest in the natural world. He was born into a family of modest means, and his father, a mercenary soldier, abandoned the family when Kepler was a young child. His mother was a healer, and Kepler's early exposure to scientific and medical ideas may have influenced his future path. Despite financial challenges, Kepler's intellectual abilities were evident from an early age, and he earned a scholarship to study at the University of Tübingen in 1594. There, he studied theology and astronomy, and it was during this time that he became inspired by the work of the Danish astronomer Tycho Brahe. Kepler's first significant academic position came in 1600, when he was appointed as an assistant to Brahe, who was one of the leading astronomers of the time. Brahe had collected a wealth of detailed astronomical data, and Kepler was tasked with analyzing it. After Brahe's death in 1601, Kepler inherited his mentor's astronomical observations and data. This was a pivotal moment in Kepler's career, as it provided the empirical evidence he needed to formulate his laws of planetary motion. Kepler's first law, published in 1609, revolutionized the understanding of planetary orbits. Before Kepler, the prevailing belief, based on the work of ancient astronomers like Claudius Ptolemy and later Copernicus, was that planets moved in circular orbits. Kepler, however, found that the orbits of planets were elliptical, not circular. His first law stated that the planets move in elliptical orbits with the sun at one focus, rather than in perfect circles. This discovery was a radical shift in thinking, as it contradicted centuries of belief in circular orbits. Kepler's second law, published in 1609 as well, described the speed at which a planet moves along its orbit. It stated that a line segment joining a planet and the sun sweeps out equal areas during equal intervals of time. This law explained why planets move faster when they are closer to the sun and slower when they are farther away, an insight that was crucial for understanding the mechanics of planetary motion. The third law, published in 1619, further refined Kepler's understanding of planetary motion. It provided a mathematical relationship between a planet's orbital period and its distance from the sun. The law states that the square of the orbital period of a planet is directly proportional to the cube of the semi-major axis of its orbit. This law not only explained the motion of the planets, but also provided the foundation for later developments in celestial mechanics. Kepler's work was revolutionary because it replaced the Aristotelian and Ptolemaic models of the cosmos, which had dominated Western thought for over a thousand years, with a new, scientifically grounded understanding of planetary motion. His laws provided strong evidence for the heliocentric model of the solar system, proposed by Nicolaus Copernicus, which argued that the Earth and other planets revolve around the Sun. Kepler's contributions were not limited to astronomy. He made important advances in optics, explaining the nature of light and vision, and developing an improved design for telescopes. He also worked on the development of logarithms, which would later become an essential tool for mathematicians and scientists. Despite the monumental impact of his discoveries, Kepler faced significant personal and professional challenges. He struggled with poverty throughout his life, and his personal relationships were often difficult. Kepler's mother was accused of witchcraft, and he spent years defending her in court. Despite these struggles, Kepler remained dedicated to his scientific work, which has had an enduring influence on the development of modern science. Kepler died on November 15, 1630, at the age of 58. His work laid the groundwork for later scientists such as Isaac Newton, whose laws of motion and universal gravitation would build on Kepler's laws. Today, Johannes Kepler is regarded as one of the key figures in the scientific revolution. 
and his laws of planetary motion remain fundamental to our understanding of the cosmos.